total disc replacement, also known as disc arthroplasty, um, is exactly what the um, term says. It's the removal of a, a diseased, uh, non-functional disc and replacing it with a disc that allows normal movement. This is a model of the lumbar disc arthroplasty device that we use at Gunderson Lutheran. The uh, clear um, plastic uh, pieces above and below represent the vertebrae above, uh, the vertebrae below, and the vertebrae above. Uh, this is the front, and this is the back. These are the little bumps that you feel on your back or that you can see in the middle of somebody's back when you look at them uh, from, from behind. The normal spinal disc is here, and then if it's removed, the, the arthroplasty device is implanted, and you can see that it allows a fairly normal range of, uh, of motion in both uh, forward bending, backward bending, lateral bending, and it also allows a limit, very limited amount of, um, of uh, rotational uh, movement. This is the um, cervical arthroplasty, our total uh, disc device. As you can see, the bones in the cervical spine are quite a bit smaller than the bones in the uh, lumbar spine, but the device uh, is very similar. As in the lumbar spine, uh, this would be the little bumps you see on the back of your, your, uh, your neck. Uh, this is the front of the spine, and you can see that the prosthesis allows a very normal range of, um, of, cervical, uh, of cervical motion. The most important things for patients to know about disc arthroplasty are one, it's been around for a long time. Uh, it was pioneered in Europe. The, de the device that we have now has gone through uh, several iterations. It has been implanted in thousands of patients and in, uh, in Europe uh, there, are follow follow there is follow-up of 20 years or, or more in the er early patients that were implanted. The device, of course, has only recently become available uh, in this country after its approval by the FDA a few years ago.